You know, social media is such a big thing in all of our lives. This show definitely. How much of that do you kind of pay attention to when you're crafting the show, and even for you guys when you're acting? Like, you know, hearing what people like, what maybe they don't like as much. How much does that? Let's ask the in? boys first. What do you think? Social media. Uh, you guys are Twitter guys, and like, if they have criticism about the show. Either the show or like something that your character did, or a romance that's going one way and they want it to go another. How, what, does that influence you guys at all? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe I should answer it, it this doesn't, one. It doesn't, it doesn't influence really us at all. I don't. I don't. I'm not influenced by anything, really. Okay. <laughs> I'll say personally that I love to. Um, I love to read what the fans have to say. Um, for uh, for a writer, it's very bad pra procrastination. So I have to stay away <laughs> from it these days. Uh, I'm I'm on three hours of sleep today because I'm still struggling to finish episode ten which we're shooting next week. Okay. Um, so, yes, <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the, uh, the crushing hours of TV. But um, I will say that uh, it's interesting to see the way people react to certain characters, like um, uh, the hatred for Allison in the second season, which was, which was I knew that was gonna happen, but it, the venom was kind of surprising. Yeah. But we made her into a bad guy, so it was supposed to happen. And I think that was really fun for her to play. Um, so what we're going to do this season is redeem her and make her a hero again. So uh, it's fascinating to see the reaction. But um, we, we're very careful about how we plot this stuff. So what we really want to do is uh, I, I think the it's always best if you're, you're manipulating the audience okay. and you're controlling them in a, bit, in a way. So <laughs> nobody, nobody, wants to see, nobody wants to see happiness and picnics on screen. They want to see death and strife and conflict. We're making, making Allison bad for the season or putting her against the guys at least, were you nervous at all that maybe the next step when you try to redeem her might not work because she might go so far? Well, that's okay, because you always get a good bad guy that way. Okay. If she was a great bad guy, we'd have kept she her was. that way. She was. All right. But we um, like her as a hero. <laughs> we know Colton's on a part of season three. He's on Arrow. Um, but talk about Jackson, because, you know, Jackson was in the world at the end of season two. Is it explained? Where do we see at least that character in season three? <laughs> you, <laughs> you find out in episode one. <laughs> And we deal with it as delicately, as carefully as we can. But um, it's hard when, uh, when an actor moves on. So uh, we had to move on fast, too. So uh, that was one of the things we deal with in that four-month space. So, but he is a phenomenal actor. And uh, he's still really good friends with everyone. So um, we're going to miss him. OK. All right. Obviously, a lot of the scenes that we saw in there are shot at night. You guys do a lot of night shooting. Um, yes, you and were it's brutal. The first, the first two seasons you shot in Atlanta, now you're shooting in LA. In LA. So I want to ask the guys first, Tyler and Dylan, how is it different? You're not in Atlanta, you're in LA. Does it feel different at all? Yeah, it totally feels different. The weather's way different, first of all. Um, every time we shoot in Atlanta, it's like, it's like the coldest in the world ever. Uh, and it's nicknamed Hot Lana. It's nicknamed Hot Lana, so it makes no sense. Doesn't make any sense. It's cool, because like, I feel like we're already, with a normal Teen Wolf schedule, it's 12 episodes, and we're already almost done with that. So it, it's just time has gone by so fast, I feel like. Um, and we, I mean, we get to see our family like, every day. I get to see my girlfriend every day. So it's just, it's, yeah, it's awesome. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Dylan, what do you think? <laughs> I just thought that Tyler did so good on that, that I would be sitting back and it'd be great. <laughs> Am I off the hook with that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dylan. <laughs> Thank you, Dylan. Um, Jeff, you've said season three, a lot of death, dark. Just how so? How dark? How, how much death? Um, well, you're going to start to see the, uh, the promos soon. Um, and what, we, what you'll see is we really go on for kind of a horror season. Um, I actually, I'm really proud of this season because we, we do a lot of stuff that's very dark and very, we, we, get, we really get into some heavy drama, but it's still one of our funniest seasons as well. Um, Styles still has great lines. There's a lot of, uh, there's such great chemistry between the characters as usual. Um, I was telling uh, my co-executive co -executive producer, Christian Taylor, who um, directed episode six, 
uh, that it's one of our darkest episodes, but it's still one of our funniest. And these two have a scene together where it's one of the most emotional we've done, which uh, don't, say no, don't say anything about it, but it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> so there were tears on set, real tears. <laughs> Um, Tyler, I wanted to ask you about going from season one to now. Scott's changed so much. How has your approach to playing him changed now that you're going into the third year? Uh. Take a big stretch first, please. Uh. Ow! Ow! <laughs> the f um, uh, my approach to the character, I, see, I, I, I view him a lot differently. I mean, like, I, I think the way that I approach any character um, is kind of the same. I just kind of do it, I guess, you know? And, like, the fact that I've been... <laughs> The fact that I've been playing uh, Scott McCall for what going on four years now, um, it's just it's way it's way easier just to be that role, you know. So it's it's not like I uh, I'm changing a lot of, of how I approach the character. It's just uh, it's easier now, I guess, and it makes more sense um, to be Scott and 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 progress with him, you know, because like I, I like we are the same dude now, kind of. So um, <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's really hard up here, struggling. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, so I mean, it's, it's just, it's, and I, I noticed that the first day, the first day we, have, we had anything to do with season three, we had a table read, and literally all of us got together and sat around a giant table and, and read the first script, and Dylan and I first noticed that it was like, it was way, it, like, we felt like we were our characters, whereas like the second season, the first day of the second season, it took us a little while to, to get into the, the groove of our characters, but I feel like we were already here, so that's, that's, that's been awesome to witness and, and you know, to do. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now, Dylan, would you like, like to talk again, about Again, I feel like you really covered it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like, you know, we're growing with the characters. We're growing as, as people, and hence our, you know, our, our, our minds about our characters grows. And where are you guys going? <laughs> <laughs> this ain't over. <laughs> um, yeah, we're getting, we're starting to sprout facial hair. Okay. But uh, <laughs> you, you also wrote a scene this season. What? Yes, Jeff let me help write a scene with him, which was really, really nice of him. Let's all thank him, give him and say, let's help him. Let's have him do it again, too. Say that. I have to say one big difference is they both have a lot more input this year on their characters. Um, and I, I, like, I, I love that as a, as a writer to have actors come up with very thoughtful questions and, and to have Styles know his character so much. Uh, there's a, a bit of dialogue that's a reference to their real lives, actually, and the fact oh, that yeah. Tyler still has never seen any of the Star Wars movies. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I reference them what? constantly. Oh, dude. <sighs> Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.